hello all uh, in this video today we are going to discuss about uh, spring boot with java 11 so for this we need uh, spring boot 2.1.0 version okay so just go to spring boot initializer and take group ideas com that sample and i'm just taking artifact as spring boot demo okay for this we need dependencies spring boot web dependency and also I'm taking like dev tools dependency also you just click on generate projects it start like automatically downloading the projects so once it's downloaded so just go <coughs> go and import into Eclipse or like Eclipse okay so I'm using Eclipse so I have already imported this project so before we are going to integrate this Spring Boot with Java 11 so we just check like project structure so in that project structure we have to make sure that so whether we are using the java 11 version or not so i'm using java 11, java 11 version here okay once this is done so just go and open that palm.xml file and and change this java 1.8 to 1.11 and save it okay and so I want to start Spring Boot application. Go this source main Java Spring Boot demo application. Just click on run the application. So it will start the Spring Boot application. Okay. So basically, uh, it will start on edge zero edge zero port. So on edge zero edge zero port, like it's running like another application. So just I want to uh, run on 8090 port so that's why I'm starting this application so for this what we need to do is so just go to like uh, resources application dot properties file just go and change server dot port equal to 8090 and save it okay so now clear the console and just start the spring boot demo application dot java so now it will start like on spring boot like on 8090 port so okay so what we need to do is so when we click on so when we type like uh, localhost 8090 slash login so it should print some message like hello world or something so to do this so to do, do this so when we type slash uh, login so we want to map to login controller okay so so that's what i'm going to do now so i'm going to write one spring boot controller so for this i need one package i'm just creating my package com dot sample dot spring boot demo dot controller okay so within that controller so i'm going to create one class java class that is login controller okay click on okay so within that login controller so i want to write one method so that should return some string so I'm taking that method name as login ok that should return some message so I'm going to take hello world so to do this we need request mapping annotation so what I'm going to do is I am going to take request mapping annotation within that request mapping annotation so I would take slash login ok so so when you type like slash login so it would return hello world message so how would spring does know that so when you type login how does the spring would pick up so for for this so what we need to do is so we have to declare at the rate 
കൺട്രോളർ ഫ്രം ടേക്കിംഗ് കൺട്രോളർ കൺട്രോളർ അനോട്ടേഷൻ സോ സോ ഹിയർ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഡേസ് so the spring automatically picks this class and it will when you type as request mapping slash lag in so it will return this message okay basically the dispatcher servlet which is being used here okay the dispatcher servlet would do mapping so so what login control login method does is so it will return hello world message here okay so it start looking for a view like jsp or something okay dispatcher controller gets a login and it's maps to the login controller so login controller returns hello world so login controller returns hello world so once the returns hello world the dispatcher servlet starts looking for view okay dispatcher starts looking for view so with the name hello world so either hello world jsp or something okay so we don't have that kind of anything right now so that's why so when we go and type slash lag in here so it would throw error see here it's throwing throwing white label error page because the application has no explicitly mapping for slash error okay so how to prevent a dispatcher servlet looking for a view so what we need to do is uh, so i would want a dispatcher servlet that return whatever i am returning in this method so that is hello world okay so for this i am going to use at the rate of response body annotations just save it okay and stop the server and start it again okay so basically here uh, what's happening is so dispatcher controller gets login okay dispatcher server gets login and it's maps to login controller okay so login controller returns hello world so once returns hello world that dispatcher servlet starts looking for view so with the name of uh, hello world or like uh, hello world.jsp or something so we don't have that kind of anything right now so that's why it's showing error okay so how to prevent a dispatcher servlet looking for a view so i would want a dispatcher servlet that return whatever i am in this method so that is hello world okay so for this what i did is so i just um, um i just like uh, took as a response body annotations so it would um, it would um, map with the name hello world okay so spring boots application has been started so i will just go and type with slash login see now we are getting the message hello world okay so i hope like you guys are enjoyed my video so please don't forget to subscribe my video and like the video thanks thanks for watching